Hi everyone, in this video, I want to cover how to program and register an LTEM-P series communicator through the AlarmNet 360 website. After logging in to the AlarmNet 360 website, click New Account in the top right, then select Other Communicators. Make sure the top bubble is selected when prompted for the LTEM-PA or LTEM-PV. Click Next. Enter the customer information and location details of where the communicator will be installed. Now, select the panel type. For the purpose of this video, we will use the Vista 20P. Select the panel revision. Next, enter the MAC and CRC of the communicator. Lastly, enter the city, CS, and account number that the communicator will be linked to. Click Continue. After the communicator details have been verified, you can select the security package and continue the setup based on that package. After completing the communicator setup, and with the account pulled up on the programming page in AlarmNet 360, choose Edit from the Actions drop-down menu on the right-hand side, then click the blue arrow. You will be prompted that the account is inactive. Click OK. Now click Register Radio. Please be patient as this can take several minutes. After the communicator is registered and active, you can continue with configuration. For alarm panels that support Compass Cloud programming, you have programming options on the left-hand side. Partition allows you to adjust partition settings in the panel, such as entry and exit delays. Zones allow you to add, edit, and delete zones. Please be aware that on several programming pages there are tabs at the top. For example, when programming zones, you have options at the top of the screen for configurable zones 90, 91, 92, and 93. There are also other options such as users, relays, and schedules. After making changes, be sure to click Save. When all programming changes are made, click Sync in the top right of the screen to sync any changes to the alarm panel. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.